Today we are going to learn about the fractions. We are going to learn what is the fraction, about forms of fraction and mixed numbers, how to add, subtract, multiply and divide fractions, and then how to expand, simplify and compare fractions. Now let us start. Fraction describes how many equal parts of certain size there are, for example 1 half, 1 third or 1 fifth. When we write a fraction, we use the following notation, n over d. Number below the line d is denominator and this number gives the name to the number of equal parts. This number must be different from 0 because if we divide something by 0, we are going to get infinity. Number above the line n is numerator and this number tells us how many equal parts are there. Generally speaking, fraction can be proper or improper. In case of proper fractions, we have that the absolute value of numerator n is lesser than the absolute value of denominator d. Fractions such as 2 thirds, 1 half or 3 quarters are example of proper fractions. In case of improper fractions, we have opposite situation, and that is that the absolute value of numerator n is greater than the absolute value of denominator d. Fractions such as 3 halves, 5 quarters or 4 thirds are example of improper fractions. Improper fractions can be written in the form of mixed numbers. Mixed number represents the sum of non-zero integer and a proper fraction, for example 7 fifths. This is one improper fraction, but we can write it as a mixed number, and this is how we do it. First, 7 we write as 5 plus 2 over 5. This we can write as 5 over 5 plus 2 over 5, which gives us 1 plus 2 fifths. In short notation we can write this as 1 and 2 fifths. And this is the mixed number. Now please remember that the mixed number represents the sum between non-zero integer and proper fraction, not the product. Fraction addition is very simple thing to be done, but there are several cases we need to cover in this lesson. The first case is when we have two fractions with same denominator, for example a over c plus b over c, and we need to add up these two fractions. Now, this is how we do it. First thing we have to do is to rewrite denominator c. Then we add up a and b, and write a plus b. And this is how it is done. Now, let's try some examples with uh, numbers, for example one fifth plus 3 fifths gives us 4, sorry, we write 5 and then we write 1 plus 3 which gives us 4 fifths. Now let's try another example, 2 sevenths plus 4 sevenths gives us the following fraction. Now, the first thing we rewrite 7 and then write 2 plus 4 which gives us 6 sevenths. The second case is when we have two fractions with different denominators. For example, a over c plus b over d. Now, this is what we have to do. The first thing we have to do is to multiply c and d and then write c multiply d. Then we multiply a with d and write a multiply d plus c multiply b. Now let's try several examples with numbers. For example, 1 half plus 2 thirds. This gives us the following fraction. The first thing we do is to multiply 2 and 3 and write 2 multiply 3, then 1 multiply 3, 
plus 2 multiply 2 which gives us 3 plus 4 over 6 which gives us 7 6 which we can write in form of mixed numbers and gives us 1 and 1 6 now let's try another example 5 7 plus 3 halves okay again we multiply 7 and 2 and then multiply 5 and 2 plus 7 multiply 3 which equals in denominator we have 14 and here we have 10 plus 21 which gives us then 31 over 14 now we are going to transform this improper fraction into the mixed number and we write this as 28 plus 3 over 14 which gives us 2 and 3 over 14 now when we have third case that is that we have, have to add up two mixed numbers for example 5 and 2 thirds plus 3 and 1 quarter and this is what we do first we add up integers that is 5 plus 3 gives us 8 then we use the rules for addition of the fractions with the different denominators in this case and we write 3 multiply 4 then 2 multiply 4 plus 3 multiply 1 now this gives us 8 and 2 multiply 4 gives 8 plus 3 over 12 which equals 8 and 11 over 12 multiplication of the fractions is very simple and this is what we have to do for example let's have two fractions a over c which multiply b over d then we want to multiply these two fraction or fractions in general we multiply numerator with numerator that is a multiply b and denominator with denominator that is c multiply d and we finish fraction multiplication now let's try this on some fractions with numbers for example for example three quarters which multiply five over seven this gives us 3 multiply 5 and 4 multiply 7 that is 15 over 28 let's try another example 2 thirds multiply 8 over 9 this gives us 2 multiply 8 over 3 multiply 9 this gives us 16 over 27 now let's try another example 5 quarters multiply 7 ninths this gives us 5 multiply 7 over 4 multiply 9 which gives us 35 over 36 fraction division is done in the following way let's have two fractions a over c divided by b over d now first thing we have to do is to rewrite the first fraction that is a over c then we turn upside down the second fraction and we get d over d 
and then we multiply these two fractions and we get a multiply b over b multiply c now let's try to solve some problems with numbers for example three quarters divided by seven fifths okay first we rewrite three quarters then we turn upside down this fraction which gives us five sevenths and then we multiply these two fractions which gives us three multiply five over four multiply seven equals 15 over 28 now let's try another example one half divided by three fifths okay again we rewrite one half and then multiply with five thirds which gives us five sixths In this lesson, we are going to cover how to expand the fractions. Fraction expansion is usually done when we want to compare them, but they have different denominators. The idea behind the fraction expansion is to find the lowest common denominator of the fractions we want to expand. And this is how we do it. Let's have two fractions, for example, two thirds and three quarters, and we want to compare these two fractions. In order to do that, we need to expand them so that new fractions have the same denominator. That is, we have to find the lowest common denominator for 3 and 4, which is 12. In order to expand them, we use the fact that if we multiply both numerator and denominator with the same number, fraction won't change its value. Now, 2 thirds, we multiply with 4 over 4, which gives us 8 over 12. On the other hand, 3 quarters, we multiply with 3 over 3 which gives us 9 over 12 now when we compare these two fractions we can see that 8 over 12 is lesser than 9 over 12 which means that 2 thirds is lesser than 3 quarters and this is how we compare the fractions When we have a fraction whose numerator and denominator are very big numbers, we are trying to simplify it. And this is how we do it. For example, let's have a fraction of 420 over 780. And we want to simplify this fraction. Now, first we write 420 and 780. And then we are looking for their, for their greatest common divisor. Okay. 420 and 780 can be divided by 10. This gives us 42 and 78. Then both of these numbers can be divided with 3, which gives us 14 and 26. Then we can divide it with 2, which gives us 7 and 13. 7 and 13 doesn't have the common divisor that is this is the simplest form of the considered fraction and 420 over 780 equals 7 thirteenths and this is how simplification of the fractions is done